Well hello everybody, my name is Brackton and welcome to another What If on the channel. And today we're going to be doing What If Carver Survived. If you do want to enjoy today's video, make sure you like, subscribe and tell me in the comments below any other ideas that you all have for theories as I'm happy to cover them. Before we get into today's video, only 11% of you watching this video right now are actually subscribed. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly Walking Dead videos. However, enjoy the video. For this what if to occur, we would need to have a scenario, something that changes within the game so that Carver does survive. And for the purposes of this video, we're just going to have it be that he wasn't where the rest of the group were going to leave from, as he could have been anywhere at the time, it just happened that he was there and unfortunately Kenny was also there. So Carver's not there, he survives, he's keeping things organised. So we will get right into the what if. Everything from House to Parker's Run would play out exactly the same, as Carver would not have the opportunity to have a larger role over that. However, when Clementine, Jane and Rebecca got to Parker's Run, Jane decides that Carver's going to come after Rebecca, so she wants to be as far away from that as possible, so she doesn't encounter Carver again. So she leaves, she's out of the picture, good riddance Jane. And the group decide from that point on they need to get as far away as possible so that Rebecca can have a baby without Carver trying to steal it. I believe they would eventually settle on the pier, as that's a secure location, mostly. And this means the group would be there when Arva arrives, and Arva doesn't want none of that, so he wouldn't even bother going up to the pier, he'd just sneak off. Last of Arvo as well, it's very ideal Carver being alive so far. So Clementine and whoever else wants to go, they go and get Luke, that's fine. They all go back, Rebecca has the baby, and then they decide they need to move on straight away so that Carver cannot catch up to them. And it's important to note, at this point, the herd has mostly cleared. So Carver's got a small group of people to go out and help him look for Rebecca. With Arvo not telling them about the house, they decided to settle on the town that was across the river. They walk and they get to that town, and Kenny is super protective over AJ, so he's not going to let anybody get near him, and then we started to see a bit more of his psychotic tendencies. This would cause Bonnie and Mike to leave, because they don't want to deal with Kenny, and Bonnie would approach Luke, because they were basically shagging, and he would deny as he wants to look after AJ with Becca, but unfortunately Becca would die. Very unfortunate, but it's how it would have had to go. So they're still in the town, Kenny's insistent that they go up to Wellington, get far away from Carver, and there is a nice, solid community there. So they're about to leave, Carver and the boys rock up, and Kenny, wanting to be really protective over AJ, would batter the shit out of Carver, to say the least. Be a bit of a fight. Kenny would overall win. Luke and Clementine would take out whoever Carver brought with him. Carver would be a bit distracted about Rebecca's death, so that would be a factor as to why Kenny would win. But then Kenny, Luke, Clementine and AJ would all go up to Wellington together. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. If you have enjoyed watching today's short What If, make sure you like, subscribe and comment any other theory ideas that you want me to cover on the channel. But until next time, my name is Brecton, and I'm out. Super.